Can you imagine putting bruxism behind you? Just letting go of all those symptoms that you're currently experiencing, whether for you that's waking up with jaw pain or toothache, earache, headache, whatever it might be, having bad night's sleep, whether it's daytime bruxing or nighttime bruxing, concern with dental bills, concern with uh, pain for Botox periodically, whatever that is for you. And so you're obviously wondering if it's possible to put behind you and if it is, whether hypnotherapy might be a good vehicle to ena enable you to do that. So in order really to consider whether hypnotherapy works well with bruxism, there's a couple of things we need to just remind ourselves about bruxism. So the first one is that it's an unconscious activity. You don't certainly don't decide to grind your teeth or clench your teeth. It's something that just happens automatically. It happens unconsciously. And then later you become consciously aware of it when you experience the pain or the other symptoms. And the second thing is that one of the main causes of bruxism is stress and anxiety. So there's underlying emotional conditions. So how does that all tie into hypnotherapy? Well, hypnotherapy obviously works with the unconscious mind. It's a way uh, of working, a type of therapy that enables to, us to bypass the critical factor and work directly with those behaviors, those emotions, those feelings, which are currently outside of our conscious awareness. The other thing to remember about hypnotherapy or to know about hypnotherapy is that it's been proven in many, many clinical trials now to be very effective in helping um, clients to deal with both anxiety and stress. So that's completely removing them or learning how to get control and to manage them. So I recently worked with a client called Marie and she came to me um, with a pretty serious bruxism, pretty desperate to kind of get the situation fixed. But she was very nervous about having hypnotherapy. And one of the main things was, is that from TV, from movies and so on, she thought it was going to be a process of losing control. She thought she was going to be giving control to me, um, to losing control in some way. And as I explained to her, it's actually the complete opposite. Hypnotherapy is very much about giving you back control over those parts of your life which currently feel like they're out of control. And of course, bruxism is one of those um, areas. So for many people, bruxism makes them feel like they're out of control. Their body's doing something that they don't like, that's causing them problems, but they're not able to do anything about it. They're not able to get control of it. And hypnotherapy is an amazing way to reprogram the mind, to work with that part of our mind so we can change that our behaviors, our patterns, our ways of being. And working with Maria, she learned that she had far more control over her body and her mind, her way, the way that she felt, her emotions than she'd ever previously thought possible. Uh, and in addition with Maria, she also had some underlying anxiety issues. So we worked through those, um, clearing up the anxiety. She didn't have a particularly stressful life, so the anxiety was being caused more, in her case, um, from things from the past, but we, we were able to resolve those for her. And once they were resolved, it was like the, that anxiety, that underlying emotional condition didn't need to come out through the night, through, through the grinding, which she'd been doing previously. And the bruxism was, for her, cleared up. For other people, it might take a, a little bit longer. So in other, in other situations, people might have a very stressful life, either personally or um, professionally. And then, then some um, management of that stress might be necessary. So then I'd be teaching techniques to show people how they could deal with that stress as it comes up because, you know, life carries on. Life can be stressful at times. But if we've got a way of dealing with that, of integrating that, then it doesn't need to come out through the behavior of bruxism. Throughout the whole process of hypnotherapy, your mind is alert um, and focused throughout the entire process. And people remember typically as much as they would from a normal conversation. So, you know, from a normal conversation, you don't remember every word exactly in the order that the words were said, but you know what the gist of what happened. Hypnotherapy is very much like that. So we're certainly not going into some sort of um, uh, falling asleep or being unconscious. It's very much about um, being aware, being focused and activating parts of the mind which are not normally available to you, making changes in those parts of, of your mind so that you can make the changes you want in your, in your normal life. So through the use of hypnotherapy, we can get control over that anxiety and stress, either completely resolving it, or in the case of like ongoing stress, teaching you techniques that you can use to then manage your stress levels on a day-to-day -day basis, keeping everything nice and under control, keeping that sense of calm, and then not having to have those underlying emotional um, disturbances coming out while you sleep or during the day through this um, behavior, unconscious behavior of bruxism.
Um, the other thing it's very useful for, again, is just giving you back control over these parts of your life which might seem like they're out of control. So repatterning the way that your mind works, repatterning the way that your body works, taking control over these unconscious um, actions, activities, behaviors, so that you can once more feel in control. Now, how has this played out for the clients that I've worked with? Well, um, you know, moving past the pain, letting the pain go, waking up in the morning, feeling much more refreshed, not even actually thinking about it very often. <laughs> People often just wake up, get out of bed and carry on with their day. And it's not until probably, you know, I check in with them a few days later that they remember, oh yeah, no, actually I used to wake up with a headache. I used to wake up with jaw ache, toothache, whatever it is. Um, yeah, and I haven't done that for the last few days. So often for most people it just becomes again unconscious. They just get out of bed and get on with the day. The difference is they're not waking up in pain. So I would love to hear um, in the comments down below anything that you've tried to resolve your bruxism, anything about the experience you're having with it, the symptoms you're having with it. Also it'd be fascinating to hear what you think about the idea of using hypnotherapy to work with bruxism or if you've tried it. That would be fantastic to hear. Uh, also for other people in the community to be able to see your comments, your experiences, so everyone could share. And I'd really appreciate if you just uh, give this video a like, that helps other people to find the video, helps other people to find support. And if you like what you've seen so far, hit subscribe and there'll be more content like this um, coming soon. Also, if you want to have a private one-on-one -on -one consultation with me over Zoom, um, I offer a free consultation to discuss what's going on for you with your bruxism and also to explain how you can move through it. I work using hypnotherapy and other techniques to work with the subconscious mind of my clients to help them to overcome um, bruxism, to help them to put it behind them. And if that's something that's of interest to you, I've left a link down in the comments below. You can just click on that, you'll get access to my calendar and you can book yourself in for a free consultation. So um, again, please uh, give this video a like share what's going on for you, what's worked, what hasn't worked down in the comments below. And if you enjoy this video, subscribe and I look forward very much to speaking to you soon. Take care for now. Bye-bye.